This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Monday, July 25th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From the Wall Street Journal, WHO declares monkeypox a global health emergency. Despite the majority of experts on their advisory committee voting against it, the World Health Organization has declared monkeypox to be a public health emergency of international concern, the same designation as COVID-19. Officially tallied global case numbers of monkeypox have climbed to more than 16,000, and the WHO recently declined to apply this label to this disease. But the director general changed his mind, as this wave of monkeypox is behaving strangely compared to prior outbreaks, is spreading very rapidly for this type of affliction, and because doing so will mobilize more resources to slow and potentially stop the outbreak, which could help keep it from becoming endemic. From Reuters, truck blockade of major California seaport stretches into second week. It's been about a week now since the beginning of a truck driver protest that has effectively prevented the movement of cargo in and out of Port of Oakland terminals. This is one of the 10 busiest container ports in the United States, and the protest is already reportedly amplifying existing supply chain issues and creating localized cargo ship traffic jams. The truckers are protesting a gig economy-related law that was passed in 2019 and which makes it more difficult for companies to classify workers as independent contractors, forcing them to instead treat them as employees. Most trucker organizations, like the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, see this law as a massive victory, but the California Trucking Association has said that it's bad for independent truck drivers who own their trucks and typically make their own hours. So they're demanding that the governor meet with them to discuss the issue now that their legal options, including a previously filed lawsuit, have stalled or disappeared. And from The Guardian, European Central Bank raises interest rates for first time in 11 years. The European Central Bank, or ECB, has increased the union's interest rates for the first time since 2011 as part of a larger effort to reduce inflation. The Eurozone saw an 8.6% year-over-year inflation rate increase in June, and though economists had expected a moderate quarter-point interest rate increase as a consequence, the ECB instead hiked it by half a percent, which, it argues, was necessary to counter the food and fuel costs that are dogging the continent in the wake of pandemic-era financial moves and in the midst of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The president of the ECB also said that the euro's depreciation against the U.S. dollar has made imports more expensive, and the economic outlook for the euro currency bloc isn't looking great because of all these unfavorable variables. So somewhat dramatic action was warranted, and further rate increases may be coming soon. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.